Hi everybody, thanks for coming again to join uh, Doris Therapy Show. As uh, we, pro we promised last time that we'll be continuing with our bipolar this session. So bipolar has been categorized with two things. One, it is the person who suffers depression and another one, another such is kind of the suffer mania. Mania is kind of like a manic episode. So we, can, we are kind of first to look at first the first part of depression really. Sometimes the person suffer a uh, severe sadness they feel really really severe sad and the other part can be they just feel empty they feel hopeless they feel um helpless their lack of sleep they eating have been reduced and really they are struggling with daily activities even things like uh sweeping the floor or just going to do shopping or cooking for themselves so because they are they listen so long if you want in more details i will just give you a few but if you want more really need to contact uh, your your GP uh, or any therapist around where you live they will help you and the other side the person can suffer um, the manic uh, episodes which the person can experience some feeling of feeling very very excited and very very happy and they have this boost uh, self-esteem and feeling very very important to person and at the same time they will be having this urge that they need just to do shopping and finish all their monies and they they will make some daft decision like kind of like uh, being so adventurous in their relationship maybe like uh, being involved with uh, some kind of relationship without uh, being using protective to protect themselves and sometimes you can feel that they can just be people say that they feel as if they are they can walk in the hair so these things if you feel that one minute you are very excited and they are mood swing it can be really unpredictable one minute they are very happy and one minute they are very very sad and this episode can depend when they are like severe especially when it is manic they can even have like hallucination hallucination so they can even like hear voices or see things which does not exist so really it is a serious when we have some of the symptoms i have said so far try to seek help and your doctor can help you some professional can i mean like psychologists the therapists the counselors they can help you so for me for those who are suffering from these things I just said, because there are a lot of them. And all I can say to you, the tips from me as a therapist is kind of like, check that mean well before you go for a diagnostic from GP or a psychologist. For me, firstly, try to eat healthy food, try to exercise, and then try to sleep well, and then Try to find someone you can tell them how you feel because talking kind of it can really really help you kind of like regain a little bit of that control you are losing due, uh, due to lack of motivation or lack of concentration or just a feeling that you are not worthy. And the worst of this uh, condition can make you have those suicidal thoughts and plus suicidal thoughts sometimes when you don't share this experience with someone it can be not good for you and some people can can harm themselves when they're in this episode because they feel as if they can't do it their life is not worth it but life is worth it. but you need just to seek that professional help when it is at the, at the level of severe so this is my advice to you today